Hello everyone. From this lecture, let's start with the Mealy machine. We already have discussed about the Mealy machine in the introductory lecture, wherein it was discussed that the Mealy machine is the finite state machine, wherein the output is associated with the transitions. So let's design a very simple Mealy machine, which is to be designed for producing the once complement of the given number. Okay, so what is the once complement of any given number? Let's say the number is 1010111. 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So if I flip the bits, it means the ones are converted to the zeros and zeros are converted to the ones. Then it becomes the once complement of the given number. So here, this is the input string. And what is the output expected from this is this one. It means that the set of input alphabets are 0 and 1. And the set of output alphabets are also 0 and 1. Fine. So how do we design the Mealy machine for this? Let's say this is the start state. This is the Q0 state. In the Q0 state, if I get a 0, I should convert that to 1 and remain in the same state. And if I get a 1, I should convert the same to 0 and remain in the same state. So this is actually the Mealy machine for the given input. If I process this, you can see that, let's say, I take a very small one, let's say 1011. So I'll start my transition from state number Q0. And if I get a 1, the output 0 is produced. I remain at Q0. If I get a 0, 1 is produced and I remain at Q0. If I get a 1, 0 is produced and I remain at Q0. And 1 is coming, I remain at Q0 and 0 is produced. So 0, 1, 0, 0 is the output corresponding to the input. So this is actually the uh, once complement of the given number. So whenever I have been asked to design this kind of machine, in that case, I should definitely design the transition table, which says that u0 is the start state. And if I get a symbol 0, or I get a symbol 1. So if I get a symbol 0, I go to state number q0 and produce the output 1. And if I am at the q0 state, and I get a symbol 1 as an input, I should remain at Q0 and produce the output 0. So this is the state transition table, which is not only the transition table, for uh, which is defined as del, del, but this is a lambda also. That means the output functions. So for the both of these, I have designed this table. And this is the table for the Mealy machine. So in the next lecture, we'll discuss uh, some more examples related to the Mealy machine. Thanks for watching.